Hello everybody and welcome back to the Royal Armouries Home Learning Hub. My name is Chloe and today I'm going to continue with my favourite story of Sir George and the Castle. Now, if some of you will remember, unfortunately, I'm a bit of a forgetful storyteller and that means I need some story detectives to help me figure out which bits I have forgotten. Do you think you're up to the task again? You are? Fantastic, brilliant. Right, let's get our detective hats back on and put it at a jaunty angle. And let's continue with part two of our story. Well, everybody, we left Sir George looking after the kingdom for the king and queen whilst they were on their holidays. And he was staying inside their castle. Now, I couldn't remember what the castle looked like, but you wonderful story detectives have been sending in your drawings and descriptions. Now, you have said that the castle is big, it's made from grey stone and it's also quite cold inside. You've also said that there is a drawbridge at the castle. You said that the castle has battlements on the top and it also has a portcullis. How posh! Well, shall we put this castle into our kingdom? Beautiful. Well, all was going well in the kingdom, so much so that Sir George decided to have a wander around the village and see some of his friends. He made sure to call in at the butchers, at the bakers, and also at the candlestick makers. But whilst he was having a chat with the candlestick maker, something very strange happened. He heard from the distance, beyond the purple mountains, a great roar. And then he saw what the roar came from. It was a huge beast. It was flying through the air with great wings. It was scaly. It had huge golden teeth. What's the beast called? Story detectives, what is the beast called? I think you're right. Can you say it after three for me? One, two, three, a dragon. It was a dragon and it was flying towards the kingdom and eventually it came overhead and landed in front of Sir George with a great thud and in a huge booming voice the dragon declared I am the master of the kingdom all of it belongs to me go away my word, what a rude dragon telling everybody to go away. And do you think Sir George is going to like the fact that this dragon is telling him to go away? No, I don't think so either, story detectives. But um, what's Sir George to do? He's not a brave knight and he's quite shy. Detectives, do you think we can show Sir George how brave we are and then that might help Sir George be brave too? Yes, I think you're absolutely right. Let's show him how brave we can be. Right, sit up straight, chest out, and let's show off how strong our muscles are too. It might help Sir George. So after three, one, two, three. Oh yeah, give him a kiss for good luck. Mwah. Mwah. I think your muscles are bigger than mine, story detectives. Well, let's see if Sir George is ready for the dragon. Fantastic he is. He's standing tall and proud. And Sir George declares to the dragon, You, dragon, are very rude. The king and queen will be here soon, and you are not the master of the kingdom. Well, the dragon wasn't very impressed with Sir George, and in fact, he just let out an evil laugh. Do you think you could help me with the evil laugh, story detectives? It needs to be as loud as you can go and do an evil face at the same time. After three, one, two, three. Afterwards, the dragon declared to Sir George, 
Sir George, you are a fool. I am the master of the kingdom. Now let me pass so I can enter my castle. The castle? Not the castle? Can I get a dun dun dun? All together, after three, one, two, three. Dun dun dun! Story detectives, what's Sir George to do next? No, really, what's he to do? I can't remember. Have a think. Strong your chins. Scratch your heads. If you've got any ideas, send them in to me and hopefully we'll be able to solve the mystery of what Sir George is about to do with the problem of this dragon. I will see you next time. Well, this video is dedicated to Otley Olsen in C of E Primary School's reception class. Now, you guys are doing a fantastic job with your learning. Keep up with it. Now, if your school would like a shout out or you have a topic that we can help you with, please get in touch with us as we'd love to support your school. Keep learning and we'll see you next time.